YouTube, how y'all doing? Your boy Tecmo here again, back with an update on the Sony Extra Bass headphones that I did a review on a few days ago. So I've had them now for about four days and I've used them at the gym for two days and I've taken them to work with me as well. So I've all in all probably used them for about six hours and I haven't depleted the battery yet. I would say the seven hour battery life is probably accurate. Again, I still have a charge on these so I haven't depleted the battery yet. Each time I went to the gym, I was at the gym for about an hour and a half one time and an hour for the other time. And I've used them for on and off at work probably about three or four hours. So again, um, I think the battery life is spot on. And a couple things that I didn't show you guys in the first video, this right here is where you charge them at. You open this and there's your USB port right there. And you just close it like that so it keeps any water or sweat from getting in there. And your indicator light that flashes is right there. And your microphone is right there. So again, you have all your controls on these. You have pause and play, hang up a call, answer a call then you have change the tracks and you have changed the volume so everything that you need on these is there and as far as how they did in the gym for me i was really surprised at how good these stick into my ears i didn't have any issues with them falling out and i didn't have any issues with having to fidget with them and readjust them they stayed in place and i think these ridges right here I'm not sure if that's what held them into place or if it was just the design in general, but these stuck in my ear probably as good as the JBL Under Armour ones did. These stuck in my ear very good and they sound pretty good as well. Even when I started sweating, I noticed that the sound didn't go away at all. The sound stayed pretty good. And like I said, the sound isn't amazing, but it is adequate for the gym. And the bass is there. You can feel the bass. You get the right song playing and they'll jiggle your ears a little bit because the bass is there. And the bass, like I said, it's not crazy, but it is there and you can tell that it is enhanced. Now, they didn't say crazy bass headphones. They did say extra bass. And I would agree that these do have extra bass compared to you know your normal pair of gym headphones I, I would say that these have more bass than most gym headphones do now the highs again are okay I would say that they are about a 7.5 and I give the bass about a 7.5 as well and remember guys these are under a hundred dollars so I think that they're a solid pair of gym headphones if you're looking for something like this the battery life at seven hours, that's very good. Um, when I bought them, I charged them for about an hour and I got a full charge. So I'm not sure how long it takes to charge these, but when I took them out of the box, I had about a quarter of a battery. According to my phone, it looked like it was about a quarter to halfway full. I charged them for an hour. When I came back, they had a full charge. So. I would say if it's completely depleted, it might take you an hour to an hour and a half to charge them all the way up, somewhere around there. But all in all, I think they're a solid pair of headphones. They sound good. The bass is there and they have decent specs for something under $100 because remember the Under Armors that I unboxed and reviewed not too long ago were $179 and that was on sale. The MSRP is $199 on those, and these are comparable, and again, they did good for me in the gym. I'm very happy with how they stick in my ears and they don't fall out. So, if you have any questions, guys, just leave them in the comment section or hit me up on Twitter, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. But until then, guys, Tecmo out. Have a great day.